Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. Now, I've just got back from a match at the Glebe. It's been a golden reel qualifier today, so there's been 70 or 80 guys all taking it proper seriously, hoping to get that one spot that's available to go through into the final and fish for £50,000 later in the year. Sadly, today wasn't my day. It's a tough ask, obviously, one in 70 or 80 chance. Tom Edwards won the match today. He won the match off Lake 7 with £166. Obviously a fantastic weight. I've been drawn on Lake 6. So Lake 6, it wasn't one of my chosen lakes. I probably drew the wrong end of that lake as well. So always up against it a little bit. I've been next to my mate Steve Porter though. So we've had a, we've had a nice day, a bit of a laugh. And I've set the GoPros up. So we've got a nice rough and ready highlighted section of my last hour of the match. First four hours, forget it. Caught absolutely nothing. Last hour, though, was pretty good. Caught really well, short pellets. I fished hard eight mils, short. Now, for me, I like to, I'd like i rather use a hard, scratching-style eight mil than the six mil coppings. I always think that six mil coppings is about the same size as a hard eight mil scratchings. These are the ones that... Get a little product placement in there. The XL eight mils, they're a really nice pellet at the minute. I always feel that a scratchings is a little bit more attractive to the fish rather than a coppings. Okay, a six mil might sink sink faster, it might sit on the bottom, it might do all those, all those jobs that you want it to do, but I just think those scratting style pellets are a little bit more attractive to the fish. So by using an eight mil, I've got that control there, I've got the weight there to get the pin the fish to the deck. Perfect fishing on the deck, perfect for catching big fish. Now, like I said, I've got a really rough and ready film, highlighted section of the last hour of the match. I'll let you watch that, and then I'll come back and talk to you about the rigs that I've used and the kit that I've used. Short pellet fishing, margin fishing, all that style of fishing. The key is you need something that's really robust. Your kit needs to take a load of pressure because quite often you're catching fish later in the day. You've not got a lot of time. You need to make hay while the sun shines. So you need to not bully your fish, but you need to be in total control. Now, for me, I just use my standard pole for all my commercial carp fishing. Obviously, if I was fishing in the middle of some reeds and I needed to drag fish out, then we're talking about margin poles, super strong margin poles. But for just standard carp fishing, I use my XS65, it's a beautiful pole, 16 meters, no problem, but obviously strong enough as well for standard carping, catching big fish. Elastic wise, Crimson Reactor Core, really thick, heavy, hollow elastic. I can strike, plenty will come out, but I know that when I start stripping on that puller kit, there's still a bit of bounce there, there's still a bit of give. I'm not playing a fish on a like a bowstring. I can net the fish and be in control 99% of the time anyway. Now, rig-wise, I've put it back on the winder so I can show you. For me, remember I'm using 8mm hard pellets. It's quite a heavy bait. That heavy anchor, i.e. the bait, needs a heavy ship to hold it up. So what I've got is a nice thick bristle pole float. It's actually 2.5mm, that bristle. Hope you can see it. Try and hope that the camera will focus on that. 
It's two and a half mil. It's a Malmin Rube, and I've just asked Gaz to put some thicker bristles in for like eight mil pellets for bigger baits, basically, because I would rather have a thicker bristle dotted down than a more show on a thinner bristle. But that's personal opinion. That's me. Bendy wire stem. And because we're fishing in sort of like five foot of water, I've gone for four by 14 size. Let's strip him off. Shot in, dead simple. When the fish turn up and the way I like to fish, I like to keep everything dead still. I like to throw my bait in, put my hook bait right in the middle of that feed and sit there and wait till the fish picks it up. So I'm keeping everything rock solid. That for me is either a spread bulk or a little bulk and then I just like a little dropper. But there's my hook length knot. So you can see my bulk and all my shot is only four inch above my hook length knot. So it keeps everything nice and stable. Hook length, because we're using a nice big bait, I'm not too worried about bites registering on my float, you know, little dinks and things like that. I'm looking for a big wallop because it's a big bait, fish for big fish. So hook length, I go for eight inch. I like to have just a slightly longer hook length for bigger fish. I've got a size 16 with a band on. Little tiny band, but we can still get an 8 mil pellet in there. Pretty standard stuff. Hopefully, I don't know if you can see, but I whip a long way down the shank on my hooks to get that band really close to the hook. Hopefully you can see that there. I think, you, I think you'll be able to. Right, so little band, 8 mil pellet in. Main lines, 020 main line, 018 hook length. Like I say, no place for getting bust late on in the session. You want to be in control of those fish. You want to have the confidence that if you need two fish in the last five minutes, you can catch those two fish in that last five minutes and your kit isn't going to let you down.
vehicle. 